Hello, Jack Middleton, The Empowered Vegan here, and in this video, we're gonna be making New England style clam chowder. Welcome back to The Empowered Vegan YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel and you'd like to receive weekly recipes and videos on how to elevate the way you eat, then you're going to want to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time I post a video. Now I am super excited to share this video with you because I love New England style clam chowder. I always have and I've always been a big fan of creamy rich dishes. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure your cashews are soaked. Now you can do this overnight or you can do a quick soak in boiling water for 15 minutes. Once your cashews are soaked, then you're gonna move on to the veggie chopping. So this recipe has a few veggies in it and I'm gonna recommend that you chop all of those veggies up first before you start cooking. That way they're ready to go and you don't feel like you have to run back and forth between the cutting board and the stove trying to keep up with the cooking process. So let's do those veggies now. Once all your veggies are chopped, then we can start cooking away. The first thing that I always want to cook when I have a dish with mushrooms in it are the mushrooms. And the reason is, is because I cook them at a different temperature than I do the other vegetables. With mushrooms, you want high, high heat so that you can get a nice golden sear on them. So you can go ahead and put some oil in a pan, heat it up nice and high, and once that pan is hot, you can throw in your mushrooms. And when you're cooking your mushrooms, you really want to let them be almost as if you were cooking a steak. You don't want to move it around too much. You really want them to sit on the bottom of the pan and develop that crust. Once you see them getting golden brown around the edges, then you can stir them around. Once your mushrooms have got that nice golden brown color, then you can add in your onions, add in your celery. You can also go ahead and add in your salt. Once your onions and your celery have softened, you can go ahead and add in your garlic and your potatoes, your bay leaves, your thyme, and your kelp granules. Now, you might be wondering what kelp granules are. Basically, they are dried pieces of kelp and they're really important to this dish because they have a very strong briny taste or umami flavor that they're gonna bring to this dish that'll really make it reminiscent of the clam chowder that you and I are used to. Once those ingredients have started to get fragrant, the next thing you can add in is your white wine and your miso. Now when you're cooking with any kind of alcohol, you wanna make sure that you reduce that down to cook off all of the actual alcohol because it has a very bitter taste to it. Once you cook off the alcohol, you're just left with the nice flavor of the wine. This is why you always add in alcohol first and reduce it before you add in any of your other liquids. Because if you were to just put in the wine and then add all of your stock on top of that, your soup is gonna have an overwhelmingly boozy flavor. How do you know when the alcohol has been cooked off? Well, the one thing is that you can smell it. It'll smell really boozy and astringent to start, but as it cooks down, the smell will start to soften. Once the alcohol is cooked off, then you can add in your stock. You can turn the heat up to high, bring the pot up to a boil, drop it to a simmer, and you can simmer it for 30 minutes. While your soup's cooking, you can blend up your cashews with a little bit of stock and make a nice creamy base that you're gonna add to the soup at the end to give it that nice creamy thickness. The other thing that you can do is you can clean and chop your kale so that you have it ready to go. After half an hour, give your soup a check and cut into one of the potatoes to see if it's soft. If the potatoes are soft, you know that the soup is ready. At that point, you can add in your cashew cream. You can also turn the heat off, 
put the kale in and mix it into the soup and the residual heat in the soup will wilt the kale nicely. Now a note about the kale, you're gonna wanna make sure that you chop it up pretty fine. Having big chunks of hot, wet, chewy kale in your soup, nasty, you don't want that. And that's that, then you can serve it up. Wow, doesn't that look just dandy? So I don't actually know where to get oyster crackers, but those classic little crackers that are kind of shaped like oysters, those are what you'd normally serve with this. But I had saltines instead, which are perfect. And just so you know, saltines are vegan, which is pretty cool. The soup's also really nice with a bit of chopped up dill on top, but you can serve it any way you like, any way your heart desires. It's your soup, you do what you want with it. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.